Hi everyone, this is Alpha. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I wanted to share with you this exciting game, Assault Bots. It's actually very refreshing. It's got uh, a couple of different mechanics uh, compared to other uh, robot games or other uh, player versus player games. Um, here, uh, you'll see on the right side where it says Insane Highlights, uh, you could actually tap there and watch videos. Uh, from other YouTubers. So uh, feel free to check out some other uh, uh, gameplay. And uh, But first, uh, let's get started with this and uh, let's make sure everybody is on the same page. So first of all, like any game, you need a way to save the game or you will lose your progress. So in order to do that, uh, go and tap on the player icon that's on the top right side beside the settings, right? And there you'll be able to uh, create an account all the way at the bottom. If you have not done so, please create an account as this will be a way to log into your game and your save file. So in my case, I have already uh, created my account. I will tap on login. It says success. Okay, I will go back. By doing that, um, the developer actually um, <clears throat> made it that you would get uh, 20 gold, which is uh, it's a pretty good reward for actually, you know, saving your own progress. <laughs> uh, so, so there you go. You can collect that. It would appear on the bottom of this screen below offline practice. If you already collected it, well, it won't show that anymore. Uh, and the top part, you will now see your username. So mine is the alpha, and uh, you have a couple of options here. Starting from the left, you have the green uh, icon there where it says play ranked. Uh, below that, it will tell you your tier. So currently I am bronze three. Um, I have just started the game, possibly only put in two hours or something like that. The next one on the right is a blue icon, which is play. So you can go into a match that is open and uh, and begin playing. You will not gain any rank there, but you will earn rewards uh, such as the, the coin or the C resource that you would use to unlock uh, weapons and uh, and some type of booster for that weapon. Uh, we can look into that later. You have underneath the play button, you have custom rooms, where if you tap on that, you'll be able to see all the open rooms and the locked rooms. So for example, Salute, uh, which is the second one there on the list, it, uh, it is locked, so you will need a password to get in there. And uh, you can create these rooms for you and your friends. So feel free to go ahead and do that as well. It is very fun. I did that the other day and uh, played with um, three or four actual uh, real players. And that's all we had. Just, uh, just two verse two, three verse three. You know, and we had uh, an excellent time there. So you can get a group of your friends and go ahead and do that. Uh, the other ones, such as like Death and Fan 1 that are below that, are all open rooms, so you can tap on that, and then you would tap on Join Room on the bottom right corner. Uh, what's interesting is on the top right, you see Players Online, which is 236 at this point. And these are actual real players that you can play against and you will find in the battlefield. So it's nice to see that, you know, there are people playing this game and are enjoying it as well. So on the top left corner, we'll go back and you'll also see offline practice at the bottom, which is pretty much um, same idea, right? You get to choose whichever map you wanna, you wanna play on, which this is actually fairly nice. You got two, three, four, five maps actually to be able to choose and play on. You can choose the amount of bots in the game so you can go and practice and, and do all that, uh, try different robot setups. Speaking about robot setups, in this main uh, menu, you can tap on Edit Bot. 
and you'll automatically be brought to this screen. The first one would actually be camo, which is your camouflage and uh, paint jobs, pretty much. As you can see, it costs uh, gold coin. Um, so these do not give you any advantage over other players, which adds to the free to play um, aspect to the game, not pay to win which is nice uh, considering that there are so many other games out there that are just pay to win and you just buy your, buy your win, your victories there. Uh, next option here is the body, the body of the bot that you're going to use. So you have light, medium and heavy bots. So a light one would be the square bot all the way on the right side. A medium would be the standard V3 and the v -ter, um is also a medium. Now the heavy one is the standard V2 big and uh, hopefully we'll see more of these different types of bodies in the game um, and in future updates. Uh, the other thing to look at is the primary weapon. So you have a selection depending on the body type that you chose, whether it's light, medium or heavy, uh, you'll be able to choose a primary weapon. So in this case, I'm, I'm, I have the heavy body on, which does not allow me to use this MG44 because that is only for light and medium bots, right? And then you got the, some of the other types of weapons, such as sniper rifles, heavy machine guns, and uh, similar to uh, just regular machine guns or submachine guns. You have a secondary weapon that you can switch in battle, such as like the RPG, the Tri Rocket, and other ones like the P17 for light bots, the grenade launcher, which is actually a fun um, weapon to use uh, for light and medium bots, and a healing beam uh, that can be put on a light bot. So you can check all those stats out, such as damage, accuracy, st stability, and the uh, rounds per minute You have the front add-on which will be put on the front part of your bot Such as the turbo supercharger um, We we can go into it later um, But feel free to check those out. You got the spinner the radar uh, the armor The force field that can be given to light and medium bots. You got the mines You have a quick recharge um, he got the sonic boom, the jump shot, the super zoom, which gives you an extra two times scope, uh, which is nice. The compact mortar. You have the back add-ons, which are exactly the same as the front. Now these will, uh, equip to the back part of your robot, uh, giving you abilities, a second ability, or even more armor. Movement. This is a, a very important part of the game considering the fact that there are there are different terrains on different maps and there are different advantages uh, to which um, which movement you would like to use. So for example, uh, for light and medium bots, you have the standard wheels. Um, the, then you have the big wheels. You have the huge wheels that allow you to cover terrain um, that's a lot rockier the other thing is uh, you got the helicopter which would actually be only for light bots so you won't be able to see it here let me let me change that to a light body All right and I'll go back to movement and there you go you can see the helicopter there All right so you can actually fly with this thing land on top of buildings and shoot your enemies from above um, the walker is for the medium and heavy bots. So let me go back to the body so you can check that out. So this is a medium bot. And we'll go to movement. And here's the walker. You got these legs um, right there. Then you got the wings, which is actually pretty cool. I've seen a lot of players use it and they're flying around, you know, having... Having a lot of fun there. And then 
Uh, something else that's pretty cool is you got the thruster that costs gold and it will change the color of your thruster every time you jump up into the air, which is actually pretty cool. I personally like this one. Uh, I don't have the gold for it at this point, but uh, you can go ahead and unlock those. Those are uh, just pay options um, that don't affect the gameplay, um, but they do look extremely cool. Like, look at that rainbow, right? And the Patriot one looks actually pretty nice too. You also have the tracer color. So when you're shooting, uh, you got that orange color kind of thing. Uh, you got that blue or rainbow color when you're shooting your weapon. You got the green, you got the red, and you got that purple, which is uh, it's pretty nice. Not bad. So definitely a lot of uh, options that you can, you know, spend money on, help the developers out uh, with this. And uh, why not, you know, spend some money on a game that uh, that is actually fun, right? So you'll be supporting your developer, you'll be supporting the game, the community. Um, so yeah, you can definitely do that. Uh, you got up top, right in the center, you have human AI and alien robots. So in this case, I have already uh, shown you the human AI aspect of it. Now when you go to alien robots, uh, the body kind of changes. So you have the angle body, the mammoth, which is the heavy version, the light, which is the swift, and the angle legacy, which is another medium. So again, you have two mediums, a light and a heavy. And each one of these goes according. Uh, so the heavier bot obviously has more health. Its uh, jump is less and its top speed is slower. So makes sense. His smaller bot will be a lot quicker. His health would be low, um, but still very agile. So definitely um, a lot of balances there because uh, you know you have uh, you have the quick movement aspect of the game and you have the slower pace, but as well as the weapons. So it's all pretty it's all pretty balanced for the most part. You have your primary weapons. Just like uh, the previous, they're a little bit different, right? Um, you have your secondary weapons as well. So some of them uh, are the same, you know, few may be a little bit different. In terms of the uh, front add-ons and the back add-ons, you can see that they're exactly the same. <clears throat> so there's no, I wouldn't say that there's a extra advantage to being either alien robot or human AI. Now, what is cool about the alien robot is you actually have this option right here, which uh, let me get the medium bot in here. Where is it? Here we go. Mammoth and the movement. So you have this spider legs, which is actually pretty cool, right? You see this uh, bot walks on all fours and uh, yeah, it looks kind of like a like a big spider uh, when it's on the field. It's a very tough bot to to destroy, but uh, but a very good one as well. You have the huge wheels, right? The helicopter, the factory wheels, and the wings as well. <coughs> Again, thrusters are all the same. Trace color as well. So those are all pretty nice. Uh, here up top on the left of of the human AI section, you got the shop. In the shop, you can purchase gold. Um, it, it'll be different depending on the region, but uh, where I am, it's 649 for 500 gold. And again, you can use it to buy the camos and thrusters uh, that you can see below. All right, so you can do that. Uh, we'll go back, back again. Okay, so uh, let's go into a match. We'll go into offline practice for the moment. Um, we can choose anyone really here. We'll go, we'll go swamp, for example. I'll put the bot count down to zero and we'll go play offline. Okay, 
So there are no bots here, but I did want to show you some of the some of the different things here. So I'm going to set up my fr my primary weapon, set up my secondary weapon, front add-on, back add-on, your movement. Right, you can have the wings, a walker, the big wheels, and the standard wheels. So uh, I'll pick the walker. The walker is pretty fun to use as well. I like this. So we'll deploy that. <clears throat> so here you are. You see an energy force field around uh, myself, and it goes away. When the energy force field is on, it uh, it automatically means that you have respawned, and you won't take damage for a specific amount of time. Now, the way you walk is here, the left joystick. Um, I do not have it on, on uh, I have it on basically just movement. It's not on the same uh, location. You can change that. So the way we'll do that is we'll look at the pause um, menu. I have it on the right side. You would have it on the left. Okay, I was having a little bit of issues here with my recording. Sorry about that. So time has elapsed. Here um, on the top right, I have the pause menu. Um, so this brings up the whole menu. Yeah, field of view camera settings, camera distance, everything is pretty much okay there. The vehicle opacity uh, when aiming, right? You have that uh, vehicle always transparent. Now that was an actually <laughs> um, interesting thing. So if you tap there, right, and you resume, your bot is actually transparent. It's transparent to you, not to your enemies. So, you know, it's up to you how you prefer to do that. You can edit your crosshairs, right? you can make them bigger, smaller, and move them around, um, such as like the dot size, the crosshair thickness, you know, all of that. You can have a dot only, or you can have the crosshairs, but I like the crosshairs. So, we'll go again, uh, disable HUD. So, I accidentally put tapped on this and ended up with this. So, I could still play around. Um, the only the only issue I have is I don't see the crosshair. I can't see where I have um, my jump or my my speed or anything like that. Can't see the map. So um, I would recommend you know just leaving it the way it was. So we'll put that back. So in case you do press that button, remember you always have to tap where that pause button is on the top right you have the sensitivity aim sensitivity static joystick so this will mean whether or not you're you're able to uh, move your, your thumb around over here with the joystick right so it'll always be in place so whenever you're playing it'll always be there always now you can take that off right and go back now you don't see that joystick anymore and if i put my thumb here if i put my thumb up here Right, the joystick will appear. So this is actually pretty fun. The only issue that you have is, for example, if you're aiming and you want to shoot, you can't anymore with your left thumb because you're moving your bot around. So it's up to you how you want to do that. The, uh, the movement, I have it to move to input. Uh, this helps uh, bots reverse properly. Uh, fairly easy to use. Uh, on default, it would be on no reverse, I believe. The graphics, I set it on high for lower end. You know, you can set it on, on medium or low, as well as textures. The resolution all the way up for me. Uh, direction arrows, right? So you have all this stuff. You even have a gyroscope here. So that's pretty cool. You have the aim assist. I definitely recommend turning that on as I... I assume everybody is probably using that as well. Now, you, underneath where it says pause, you have resume, which would mean you should go back to playing the game. Respawn, which would actually destroy you. And you would respawn and you can choose another bot or weapon type. All right, so you can set it up again. You can hit the pause button. You can switch teams as well. That will automatically destroy you. 
and you would appear on the other side. So now I am under alien robots, not human AI. So now my bot looks a little bit different like that. Next up, you have the customize HUD. So here you can actually tap on your buttons like this one or this uh, the pause button, for example, that was on the left side. I moved it all the way to the right. So it's easier to use uh, your shooting buttons, your crosshairs, your brake, your booster speed and your jump button as well. You can also move around your map. You can resize your map as well. So feel free to do that. You got your little message button over here that you can type messages to your your allies, right? In case they don't know what you're doing, uh, you can tell them there. Okay, so once you're done, make sure you go to finish customizing. If you put reset, it'll put you back on default. default. So there we go. Now all the way at the bottom, you have main menu and this will automatically send you back to the main menu. It will take you out of the match. So hopefully this, uh, this has answered a couple of your questions. Uh, I will be making videos on gameplay as well as a little more in-depth detail in terms of terrain, um, gameplay, um, robot and, you know, uh, setups that you can use. And uh, yeah, you can have fun trying all those things out. I know this is a, a pretty long video, but uh, I try to put everything as much as I can, condense it, right? And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you like this video. If you want more, subscribe, and I'll bring out more content, most likely, you know, a lot more exciting than this. This is a tutorial or setting up tutorial. So uh, please enjoy that, and uh, yeah, catch you on the next one.